know it's getting late, but we're going to church last year, so it's okay. <laughs> it is a blessing for me to have the seat that I share uh, and to watch this crowd today of people. God is good. God is good. God is good. Every Easter is special, but this one is even more special. Because I mentioned many times, we've been through a lot this year. And so it's so great to see so many of you come home to church. And me being me, I'm going to continue to challenge you to consider coming next Sunday, the Sunday after that, That's right. Sunday after that, That's right. and just keep coming. It's important that we not just talk about Jesus, but live out our faith and to come to Mass on Saturday evening or Sunday morning. So thank you for being here. I, I understand that many of us have been vaccinated and we're feeling a little bit more comfortable gathering together. We've done our very best since June 7th. We had our first public Mass again with the Archbishop to make sure the church is clean. Everyone is wearing a mask. We have our shields and uh, doors open, windows open, trying to keep our house sacred and also safe. So thank you for, for coming today. I know for myself, for Father Conan and Deacon, we thank you for being with us today and helping us to praise God on, on this day, which is the Lord's Day of Resurrection and New Life. So thank you for being here today. I want to note this morning, thanking our, our leaders of our parish, thanking you for all you've done, helping me to keep this parish going and making it strong and by far the most challenging year for me as a priest and for all of us. I will work my hardest. Mm. Yeah. Amen. To live stream, to do YouTube, some videos, to call people, to visit people. I will do everything I can. I will leave it all on the altar. And I trust in your goodness, and I trust in the people here. And I'm not going to preach again, but when you put God first, yeah. Amen. Yeah. when you put God first, yes, and you praise Him, yes. those blessings will come down. Yes, they do. Amen. And so I'm grateful to you for your presence here today. I thank you for all those who sacrificed and made this church alive by your prayers. You cannot close the church. No. The church never closed. We stopped having public masses. The church is alive. When you go out and love and serve and do justice, that's the church. Yeah. When you go out and lift up somebody in the struggle, that's the church. Yeah. When you go lift up a young fella or young lady and remind them to put down the gun and go to school, that's the church. Yeah. We do that. It's not just what we do here at 10 o'clock. It's out there. That's where our faith is alive. 